Hello guys and welcome to episode 49 of my Total War Three Kingdoms playthrough playing as Sun Jian on very hard difficulty. In the last episode we completed the campaign but we are going to be going for China domination where we just take every single settlement on the map that is owned by another faction. So we're basically wiping out every other faction so we are the last man standing. So that's what we're going to be doing now. Get these epic battles continuing because there was a really epic battle or two that we had in the last episode in order to win which was awesome and Minchi actually leveled up because of it. I think what we're going to do is we're going to give him probably a final rush and then move to Fury so let's go ahead and do that. And I am going to have to pass out some of the ancillaries that we gained in the last episode as well. So recently we gave Lai Yin uh, the battle axe here, but I'm tempted to actually upgrade him to the Cleaver of Mountains, which was Su Huang's old weapon. And since he's going to be basically Sun Xian's apprentice to take over this army when he dies of old age, I think it's probably a good idea to uh, to just equip him as best we can under Sun Xian. That is fine. Uh, we did actually get some other interesting followers as well. They're mostly expertise. This one's not too bad though. We can give him that guy. The extra resolve. Actually, no, never mind. We won't do that because we can give this to one that actually requires authority. Alright. And it's fine. Uh, Lusu is all sorted. Just going to quickly go through my armies here. Kaldui. I think he's fine with his heirloom spear. Saying that, the Chi of the Imperial Guard would give him more damage, but take away some of his uh, expertise and instincts. So I think I'd rather keep the spear. Uh, for his follower, I'm probably going to give him the Adept. And he already has the Woozy. It's fine. A composite bow there for Guajir is fine. Although I believe we have something like the six secret teachings that might be better. I think I'm going to give that to him instead. And while we're at it, we'll give him a noble sword. Jan Yu Yin has a G of the Imperial Guard, which is fine. Already has, I think, the best armor we can give him. Currently using the Overseer for the extra campaign map movement range and speed for his own retinue, which is fine. And so is the water clock. Yeah, we can just leave him with that stuff. All right, let's just uh, carry on to Huang Shi. Currently making use of the war blades there. Can I give the Kindred Jan to any of the Vanguard? I don't think I can. So who would it be best on? Probably on on one of the um, commanders actually. But her weapon's already really nice. Do I have any other commanders? Luan Bao. She currently has the War Axe. Okay, let's give her the Kindred Chen instead. That's actually, yeah, pretty good for her. Very nice. Okay. So, this army, I guess we'll just have carry on towards Ping Yuan. Or we could move up to Bohai and try and wipe out Yuan Shao. I think that's probably a good idea, actually, because he still has the vassals under his command. Make sure we leave some movement range left so that we can go into ambush stance. Wait, why can't we go into ambush stance there? I don't know. Can we move a little? I think it's because we're in range of another army. Yeah, well, we'll just move this way. It's fine. He's going to get his spearman back next turn anyway. 
Alright, with Sun Chuan, uh, we're probably going to move down and try and intercept this army of Wen Chao. Uh, then over here we have Yu Zhen. We want to attack Guan Ling, but I think he Yi or her Yi is uh, currently sieging it, so we can't really get close at the moment. Just going to double check his equipment. Uh, maybe we could give him the military instructor or the guard. Either would be better than the one he currently has. We'll go for the military instructor. And the stone archer can be upgraded to the stone monkey. Okay. Uh, this lady already has a scholar and the composite bow. I could go and give her the Celestial Sphere. No, I'm not going to do that. And what about Diane Yu? This does more damage, so we'll give that to him. And that has more armor, but that's fine. Now what does this do? Plus four expertise. That's plus six morale for cavalry, melee cavalry in own army. That yeah, could be useful. Probably not in that army though, so I'm going to avoid that. And I'm tempted to give him the Celestial Sphere. Let's go ahead and do that. Eight expertise and eight cunning. It's not bad. What's that set actually? Plus ten percent character experience action wide yeah i don't know we won't try and sort that out but i do need to decide where the time is going to go and i think we're just going to bypass uh, guangling and go to donghai um fishing port so let's head in that direction i might actually uh, march as well because otherwise we won't be able to hit that next turn okay um let's go over to sun Tzu and just check out ching pu he currently has Shuangxi, which is fine um i think all of this is okay. Yeah, they're all good. But where are we going with them? That's the question. We could go and attack uh, Liu Zhang. Or we could just head over to Bai Hai. Over here. I do want the replenishment though, that's the thing. Uh, maybe what we do is we go into ambush stance here. And just chill. And then I'm going to have Sundaren. Probably go for Langyi. Lumber Yard, maybe? Although I could just go straight into Beihai from there. And then that allows Sun Tzu to go to the Taishan trade port and then up to Pingyuan Salt Mine. Whilst she comes down and takes all of those. Yeah, let's go to the uh, regional capital here. This is the capital of Kong Rong, so we'll just take that off them. Like, thank you very much. <laughs> Took a lot of damage from that. Probably should have played it out manually. Alright, Grand Temple of Confucius is fine. Uh, we can get rid of that though. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and convert that to a court though. He has the food trader and the farm distribution. I need to convert this. Uh, so let's do that first because we need the food back. Yeah, and th then once we take the livestock farm, that will boost our food a lot, actually. So that's going to be a good take. Right, over to this army. Uh, we're going to be taking the tea house, which is nice. I'm just going to double check her stuff, though. She's got an overseer, which is fine. Uh, we could upgrade her. Have one of these. The book, book of Rights is probably a decent one. Um... Can she use the inspector? No, nah, that's fine. Alright, what about this guy? Chuan Yu. Again, I would give it to him, but 
Actually, that might be useful for this cav. Let's give that to Chuan Yu. That's fine. And he's got the rooster, so he's good. Perfect. And then this guy. Currently has a pretty shitty weapon. But, I mean, it's not really much better this one, but we're going to give it to him anyway. Alright, that's all good. Let's take that settlement. Like panel delegate. Only three heroism. Don't mind if I do. Okay. And she's leveled up. We can get nobility or we can get mobility. We can even get flexibility actually. Flexibility is not bad. Because it does give the extra replenishment. So I'm probably going to take that. Okay, uh, next up. I just want to quickly check Sun Ren's lady, Dong Li. Yeah, we can change her wooden dog for something much better. Something like the stone horse is probably better on her. And definitely give her that. Okay, great. She's an administrator, so the extra income from industry is not a bad idea. Okay. Um, what about Shima, actually? Anything better that he could have? No. Don't think so. And Sun Ren's pretty much maxed out. Yeah, she has the Overseer as well. Alright, what about Minchi himself? Can upgrade to the Stone Pig. Uh, we'll give him a guard. The extra instinct. And Gan Lu currently has the military great axe, which is fine. And the bodyguard. And the stone archer. Right, that's all fine. Right, now we have Hong Song's army, which is up here. I'm tempted almost to get rid of this army and build it back up north so that we can attack Lubu with another one because we have an army building at Taiwan uh, which will help defend Hidong and Taiwan uh, but we need one near Luoyang really so I'm tempted to just get rid of this one and build it at Luoyang or we could get rid of uh, Bang Long and Yu actually I think I'd rather do that so we'll recall her and yeah, we'll recall all of those and we'll use the money that we have to make it back up here actually they're going to all be returning this turn aren't they so we're not going to be able to actually deploy them yeah we've already reached the deployment limit as well because we deployed all of these lot okay that's fine anyway uh, we've got this army to finish off Shi Hui Let's hope that this is enough men. Hopefully it will be. I don't think there's much there, honestly. Are we going to want to go up to the Fooling Rice Paddy and attack this lady? Chase them down. Uh, let me just check this guy. Now you, he needs a weapon and some armor. Uh, may as well give him the labor recruiter, I think. Or the herdsman. Although saying that, West Wedge for own army, and he doesn't even have any horses, so <laughs> that's not a good idea. As for accessories, well, maybe we don't have any more water clocks. You will just have to have a wooden fish. 
There you go, mate. Uh, Huajia. Uh, we can upgrade his armor. I think to give him there. Uh, maybe just resolve is the best idea for him. I could give him a clay cup for authority for the extra unit morale. Uh, that's okay. What about this guy? He needs a better weapon for sure. I'll give him that, the professional raiments. Give him that one. Stone axe is fine. Alright, so we've equipped those guys. That's good. I do need to sort out this army though. <laughs> I have a really weird setup. Two pro protectors of heaven, G militia, spear guard, warriors of ye, and saber militia. That's that army. That's this army. Just gonna double check this one. Uh, let's go for that. Go for the herdsman, and we'll upgrade this to the clay cup. Luan Bao. We already sorted her out previously. I think she's fine. Just Lu Yu. It's all good. Nothing else really we can give him. Okay, that's all of the armies moved. All of our retinues sorted out. I am going to have to hold on to some money. Food's an issue. Uh, I don't really want to be starving into the end of the term, which is a bit annoying. Is there anyone else we could trade with, actually? That's a quick deal. Quan Wendu. Negotiate a trade deal with him. Speak quickly. I have a lot of, like, ancillaries I'm not using, so I could probably just get rid of them. Like these wooden oxes. Have a wooden ox or two. <laughs> I'll just give you loads of wooden oxes, mate. <laughs> How does that feel? I do need some food as well. Can you give me some food, bro? How much do I need? Five? We'll take five this turn. We can always cancel it next turn. How much would it cost? I wonder. 5,000? I mean, we could do like 6,000 in a singular payment or 7,000 even. It doesn't get much higher than that. Okay. Interesting. That's fine. Maybe we can make a regular payment of 500 or less. <laughs> we'll just buy the food off him for now. We can always betray him later. We are getting a trade agreement that's worth 1,943 anyway, so this isn't a bad deal, really. It gives us the food so we don't starve. We accept. Good. All sorted. Yeah, as soon as that building over here at Beihai changes to the irrigated farms, we're in a good spot. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to spend any more money just in case I need it, I think. Uh, all of our assignments are out, aren't they? I do need to upgrade these at some point. How much does that cost? I'm sure we can do that. Alright. I might do this one as well. And this one. Alright, let's end the turn.
That is going to increase our food need, upgrading all those settlements. But hopefully we will have sorted out our food problems by then, especially taking the land of Kongrong. And if we lose any land, then that's also something. All these armies are dispersing, that's good. One Wen Hu. We detest you, nice. But this must end. Uh Shi Hui would like peace. We're gonna reject that. We want to wipe them out because we have a mission to kill them. Bibu signed a peace treaty with Gan Minshu. Liu Yu joined war against Gongdu. How's the Mengs against Shi Hui? Hello, Turban Rebellion. Turns up out of nowhere and Lao Ziming is gone. Oh, that's down here. Yellow Turban Rebellion. Finest armor, that's good. Uh, let's see what we got. So, ancillary gain, defender's leather. Mm, that's annoying. It's not that good. Not that good at all. Character developments. We have a bunch of them ready for duty. We're going to have to remember which guys these are because I need to re recruit them. Uh, let's do so at Luo Yang this turn, actually, um, before I forget. So. We need Huang Long and you. We need which one was the other one? Chuan Yu and Xin Chuan. Chuan Yu and Xin Chuan. So Xin Chuan and also Chuan Yu. Good. Right, that army is pretty much ready to go. We can just charge into Lubu's lands. We have this one almost ready to come down. I might just let Hidong fall. It's not really important at all. Alright, trade gained. Philanthropic for Malong Yang Yu. Relationship lost. Okay, everything's done. Lovely. Right, time to move on. Uh, we want to wipe out Yuan Shao, like ASAP. And I think, and they own this settlement up here. They've got so much, so many like random settlements all over the place. It's really annoying. I'm trying to destroy Yuan Shao so that we can trade with other people in the meantime who aren't, who will therefore not be as vassal. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's take the livestock farm anyway. Hopefully we can just sort of resolve this. Lovely. 43 heroism. And that gives us all the food we need. Okay, brilliant. I would cancel the food income from that other guy, but... I kind of want to keep the trade agreement, so I don't want him to end up declaring war on me because we're dishonorable or whatever. We've got the Grand Temple of Confucius here, so that's good. I'm just trying to think what else we could use here because we've got a lot of food. I'm not sure there's really much else worth having alongside all of this. Maybe the Rural Tax Collector. Didn't we destroy that? And we could just push for state workshops, or actually, this might be a good place to have the Drifter Workforce Camp. Because I believe we need that to unlock some reform stuff anyway. And increasing population here is not a bad idea. I didn't realize that one actually increases income from industry. But yeah, the more population we have, the higher the peasantry income bonus, which is actually good if we're focusing on food. Is it pe peasantry? It's all peasantry.
Uh, we could just put schools here as well. We could put schools there. We could put a conscription office. Blacksmith. Could even put the mercenary outpost. Which provides mercenary captain recruitment charges. We haven't even messed around with that throughout the entire campaign. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and put a school here. Do we have a mission to build schools? We do. Awesome. We'll be completing that by doing that anyway. Now, Bihai is probably relatively undefended right now. So I would not be surprised to see this army attack it. So what I'm going to do, we're going to move out of ambush stance. We're actually going to head towards Taishan Trepo. I'm going to stay in our province for this turn because I need the replenishment, so that's good. Alright, over to Sun Xian. Sun Xian. I think we're going to go and attack Bo Hai. We can also attack the Ping Yuan Salt Mine. Uh, this might be one I have to play out. Mm, actually, never mind. No, no, battle, delegate, easy peasy. Right. In we go. Probably. Let's change this to the corruption reduction. It's going to be pretty important. Hung Song. Hung Song. He really doesn't have anything decent, does he? Why does he not have a decent weapon or anything? That's crazy. Um, yeah, I'm tempted to attack Bohai as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Alright, anyway, Sun Chuan. He's coming down to the farmland here. If this army, though, attacks the farmland, that's pretty good for us. Hmm. Do we cross this? I think we'll cross it there. That's fine, we can put him into march and carry on a bit. Uh, this army is coming round to Sidae. Okay, well, that one's moved. Uh, this army is going to be attacking Gan Minshu. And this might wipe them out. There's a big old battle here. We we'll demand their surrender. They're not going to take it. But we're going to have to kill them all. Let's jump on in. They do actually have more men than us. Yeah, but it should be fine. I'll just uh, come off to this left-hand side here, and uh, we'll get those towers dealt with nice and quickly. I could maybe burn them down. No, we don't have any burning arrows yet. Let's hit these towers. Oh, those misses hit pretty hard. Well, that's that tower gone anyway. Alright. Let's focus on those arches. Nice. Right, I'm going to focus on the G militia there. And the other thing I'm going to do is put these guys into shield walk. We're going to start pushing forwards. 
Bring my crossbows up to kill their archers. So the idea is to have these move forwards, beat the archer fire, and then from there use the crossbows to kill their archers. And then after their archers are gone, we bring up our archers and use them on whatever's left. Shame we don't have flaming shot on the trebuchets, but oh well. I can actually go into loose formation, it's probably a good idea just in case they get fired at. that arch militia now. To be honest, the trebuchets have done probably more damage than I expected, considering they don't use flaming shot. Right, we've kind of let ourselves get into range of their archers, which isn't really the best idea. But at least we're in loose formation, so I don't think we're going to take as much damage as we otherwise would. Also, they're not targeting my crossbows. Because the mercenary infantry are there, kind of baiting them. I think our trebuchets are out of ammunition. Right, I need to attack the ones further over. Speed it up. Kill as many men as we can before we move in. Those guys have run out of ammunition. Move them back. Oh, they're being hit by the tower, actually. Be careful of that. finish those off and with the majority of their archers dead we should be good to push through let's bring up our leaders Uh, so the idea here is that I'll be buffing my general. Hopefully my general can actually get a duel, potentially with their commander. Let's go. And then what we'll do is buff him with melee evasion. <laughs> Did her horse just like run down loads of my men? <laughs> so silly. Alright, so he's going to be on now 56 melee evasion, which is nice. Oh, he's done loads of damage. I want to be targeting men without shields. Oh, 
I'm gonna dismount this guy. I'm gonna have him run into combat. Alright, she dead. Uh, I probably don't need him on his horse, so we're just gonna charge him in. Bring these guys out of their formations now. Now that my archers use up all their ammunition. What's his melee evasion now? 100%. Oh, and there goes one of their heads. Come on, Dian Yu. Oh, that guy had his arm and his head taken off. I'm just calm through. Use our ability there. Very nice. His melee attack rate is really good. Look at how often he attacks. Nice, Pashon. I do have some archers left, but nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. It's going to be annoying if they sit by this tower as well. I'm going to have wished I'd taken that out. Has he maintained that melee defense? No, he hasn't. Move up. Ash. Uh, strategist. She can provide the inspiring surge, which can give me the flames of the phoenix over and over and over again, and uh, also the element resolve. Get that cooldown reduction going. I send in another unit to help us out. Let's uh, charge into the Spear Warriors here. Though he's not on his own. You can have Fire at Will on, because she does have some arrows, so she may as well be using them. Another Flames of the Phoenix. Boom. Like, meanwhile, Dian Yu is just like taking on all of these men over here on his own. They are losing health, slowly but surely, but I've definitely helped out, which is nice. Just gotta make sure she's in position to give the inspiring surge, and then he can just flames of the phoenix all the time, and he can keep using his adamant resolve.
And we can soak that archer fire. Alright, we've nearly won. My general's running. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Alright, let's get Diane Yu back then. If we can. No need to let him die unnecessarily. Yuzu Zhen will probably recover from his routing. Unless he's shattered. Oh, he's just broken. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Give more melee evasion buff to our soldiers. I'm actually going to come around the flank here. Just run in and capture this tower. Annoyingly, my leader was being attacked there by the towers. Yeah, let's have this one just wait until the other one captures it. Or, or just dies in the process? I don't know. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> oh, towers. Towers, please. They're going to wipe out the entire unit. Alright, bad idea. <laughs> bad idea, I guess. Uh, this mercenary um, infantry unit isn't doing too well. Oh, we've won anyway. Alright, that's good. We'll claim victory there. I expected my horses to be fast enough to get in there before they took too much damage, but never mind. Job well done. Another settlement under our command. Da Chual. Clumsy, beautiful, quiet. Mm, nah, we'll just release. I don't need her. And there's no reason really to execute her, so that's fine. Uh, Yu Zhen has leveled up. Minus 50% attrition from military supply source shortage. That's pretty nice. Enables fatigue resistance for own retinue as well. Uh, we want to push towards Fury. I don't think we need Passion, do we? Actually, no, Passion's pretty good. Plus 25% melee damage for all shot cav. Let me go to final rush after that. Yeah, we could just go up and across. Let's do this. Alright, Sun Yu Ying is going to get resourcefulness now. Lovely. And Gan Lu also leveled up. Taking the Ping Yuan mine. Uh, we don't need reach, do we? So probably just best to get patience. Could get vengeance as well. For the scare ability. Now let's go towards patience. Then we can get binding fury. Because we currently have Min Shi in command. Because he has reach and flexibility. Okay. Alright. Last thing we need to do is move Sun Qian towards Bohai, probably. But we've also got these armies to move as well. This one's going to be taking the small city from Xihui. And that's an easy take. So let's quickly do that. Minus one heroism. Wow. Well, uh, we're going to get rid of that. And here I'm going to build a Confucian Temple. Okay. 
And now we just have to take the Yunnan Spice Market from them. And then that will be Shihei dealt with, I think. Uh, they do have an army that was coming this way. So we're going to have to go find that. Keep chasing them down. Because eventually what's going to happen is that'll just attack us anyway. Because we'll take the last element. But unfortunately, guys, that has been my time. I am going to leave it here. Huang Long Anyu is uh, now building her army. We have uh, Wei Huang almost ready to go as well. His army at Taiwan is looking pretty good. And yeah, our conquest of China is going well. I am probably going to have to have this army come south and wipe out Zirong. Although we are currently trading with them, so it might be worth waiting until the rest of the places are dealt with and then just killing them off with the army nearby. But that's it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.